Hi, this is Amar Kalu, one of the uh, co-editors on the Fits on the Go blog. I'm here with Dr. Scott Wright, who's a professor of medicine, cardiologist, healthcare policy expert, as well as a member of the AECC advocacy, who's here to talk to us about the SGR. Dr. Scott Wright, thanks very much for your time. Well, Amar, thank you for inviting me to join the Fit blog today. Uh, yesterday was a historic day in Washington. Uh, I think for the 24th or something like that time, uh, the Congress passed a short-term extension to avoid cutting the Medicare reimbursement for all physicians, including cardiologists. Uh, this has been a perennial battle since the mid-1990s. We've tried every year to get a permanent repeal of it, but it hasn't worked so far. So f f can you just give us a basis of what exactly the SGR is? Yes, the SGR is a, is a budget fix by the Congress to stay within a spending cap for Medicare. So as the population of people getting Medicare dollars goes up, the dollars they can spend per recipient goes down, so they have to keep cutting reimbursement to physicians and hospitals to keep that total cap fixed. And every year they try to cut reimbursement, and the Congress has to appropriate more money uh, to uh, uh, not cut the pay for phys cardiologists, physicians, and all hospitals. It's a real crisis because if we see continued cuts in the reimbursement, uh, lots of uh, patients, including those in inner cities and rural hospitals, will just no longer have care. So we've been trying to get it repealed. This year is on record the, the least expensive year in the last 20 to repeal it and we're optimistic that hopefully in the next year or two we can get a permanent repeal so that uh, the future cardiologists don't have to fight this battle. Great. Thank you. And uh, what's your vision for the future as to where this will go and how it will impact uh, th the future? I think if the SGR doesn't get fixed and if it continues to be cut, it's going to make the job market really tight for future cardiologists. If there's some predictability to reimbursement so that practices know what they're going to be paid, they can expand hiring. I think all fellows realize this year it's been tougher to get a job than of any year in the last 20. I think going forward, the country needs a permanent solution to how to provide Medicare services at a rate that's reasonable for physicians, not that's excessive or not that's exceedingly low like it is now, but that's reasonable. And at the same time, that allows hospitals and healthcare groups to have enough of a small profit margin to do innovation and bring new ideas and change that will improve health and manage health. So I think going forward, there's plenty of opportunities. We just need to have uh, really bipartisan, common sense solutions to make it happen. Great, thank you very much. This is Amar Kalu with Dr. Scott Wright. You can check more videos on youtube.com slash fits on the go.